Car crash last night started a 60 man search in the East Texas woods to find a six month old baby who was missing from the scene. Bryce Brown Eisen learned more about what led to that search and how that baby was found. Harrison County deputies responded Tuesday night to a call about a woman driving under the influence. She crashed on a service road right next to Interstate 20 in Marshall. When officials arrived on the scene last night at around 945, they found a single car that had driven straight through this barrier, causing the damage behind me. They found one of the six month old babies in the car, but the second one was nowhere to be found. She's saying that there's two kids. Uh, he observes that there are two car seat bases in the back seat. We only have one child. So deputies recruited all the help they could to find the missing second child. Uh, we called for help from our ESDs. Uh, we put uh, roughly 60 or so people at the scene, boots on the ground, started canvassing the woods. After over three hours of searching behind the scene in the East Texas woods, including one official that was treated for heat exhaustion, they finally found the second baby. Their search led them all the way out of the woods and to the woman's house more than two hours later. Uh, the officer forced entry into the residence. Uh, there was a baby in the car seat uh, sitting on the coffee table. Obviously, she had, she had just left and, and left one home. But now, thanks to the hard work of the search crew, the six-month-old twins are safe. There was a large search area, uh, several miles, and, uh, and, and they were very diligent, and, and, and everybody uh, uh, really put it out there last night. From Marshall, I'm Bryce Broneisen, CBS 19. So thankful those babies are safe. And that woman was booked into the Harrison County Jail where she was charged with two counts of child abandonment and endangerment. The twin infants were both unharmed and are currently being kept in a safe location.